This is the vegan anarchist. In this video, I'm going to talk about millennials, how millennials want libertarian socialism. I was, re I was reading a story about how millennials are rejecting capitalism. And then I found this cool blog, um, P2P, peer to peer, and it talks about how, well, this is a vegan anarchist, but how basically millennials prefer socialism over capitalism, but it also, it also shows that they prefer, they also prefer what's called the free market over government control. So I'm thinking, interesting. So they prefer social. They prefer socialism, but they hate government control. But you know what kind of socialism they have? Government control, libertarian socialism. And it turns out, and, and anarchism is in the umbrella of libertarian socialism, which is so it basically means. I am not this eccentric guy who I I may be more of a zeitgeist of the of the millennials, possibly, I don't know, hopefully I'm more radical, but you know what I mean. And uh, and this I mean like don't tell those to the Leninists and the Stalinists, because they don't want to hear that, but of course there's a lot of no thing revolution gonna happen here anyways. But it is interesting when you look at it. Because and I interpreted it as some of the people interpret it as you know, some of the authors, some of the commentators interpret it as, oh look, young people don't know what the hell socialism is, and and but the truth is is that they don't know what they. I mean the people who comment, the people who the commentators, the the people who do the sites don't know what socialism is because they define it as government control over industry. But there's a whole movement within the socialist movement called libertarian socialism and anarchism, which I'm a part of, which is in the libertarian socialist movement, which is part of the large socialist movement, which rejects statism. So basically, millennials want libertarian socialism. I mean, who would? I mean, like, nobody likes to be controlled by the government. And at the same time, nobody likes or BP does all those oil spill or banks rip people off and foreclose in their houses or I don't know, it's the finance Wall Street F several people's money cause the economy crash. Walmart, China, Walmart being there just by being in a certain area get cause surrounding businesses go under F businesses and co op man. It's all it's Millennials, although they're grown up, I did find another article, I should probably link to it, it gives a different perspective about how millennials are brought up as capitalists and often got the same capitalist propaganda. Except they didn't have as strong as a Cold War propaganda because by the time they're born, or just shortly after they're born, at, at, at oldest, the Soviet Union collapsed, so they were exposed to all this propaganda. But in essence, the, de the false definition of socialism is breaking down. And, it, and oh yes, it is true. I got millennials are raising uh, capitalism and often turning Bernie Sanders to, although he's gonna lose, to basically bring social democracy to just capitalism. But, if they, but the, the seeds are already been planted, you see, in them. The, the seeds have already been planted. And not only the seeds have been planted, but it, it eventually, it, once the reform, once people realize that Bernie Sanders or Jeremy Cobrian or whoever, whoever the hell social democrats try to take office and realize that reformism fails or fails to get reform, they, you could easily, they're more likely to listen to you for a revolution and start the revolution. So in essence, they, they, they have they might have potential, but at the same time, they still have somewhat of a consumerist mindset. So, 
Anyways, this is the vegan anarchist. No meat, no milk, no masters. See ya! Don't wanna be ya! Also, don't forget, I forgot to mention this part, but if you just, for example, I'm gonna add it at the end of the video. If you pull, if you go out around people and you tell them, true, but I give them the idea of workers owning their means of production, bit like owning businesses, or the, like collectively, or that, for example, the community owns the means of production. Most people would agree with it until you slap the term socials on it, and even then, young people won't, you know, necessarily reject it. So it's a it's a good sign, you know. If you pull people, most of even Republicans. Well, even conservatives would agree to that. So, you know, we have something. Anyways, this is the vegan anarchist. No meat, no milk, no 